In the good fight, you transition yourself from supporting actor to a star. How is that? <laughs> well, it's the same character, so it, it wasn't like I had to suddenly change my persona. It's a different position, it's a different responsibility, but it was the same writers, the same crew, so I felt very safe. Uh, the only, the, the, the change was that the, the story was much more centered on, on Diane, and particularly the first year had to show her journey from being at the top of her profession and wanting to retire and have a home in the south of France to losing all her money, having to go back to work, and suffering this sea change. And suddenly, you know, the woman she thought would become president has lost the election, and so she's also going through that mental jolt that we all felt when Donald Trump was elected. So. Uh, <laughs> A lot of psychological um, uh, uh, shocks uh, uh, and carried through into the second season. There, there's more work for me, which is lovely, but it's, it, you know, you get to see Diane a lot more and how she handles, you know, living through crises. The sophisticated office wardrobe at the Good Fight turned your character Diane into inspiration for real and fictional women. Uh -huh. Well, I have a wonderful costume designer, Dan Lawson, does the entire show, and he's, I call him Eve, because he's my Yves Saint Laurent, and he <laughs> does, he just does beautiful work, and I always think of the clothes as like her armor, even when, even when things are terrible, even if she's going bankrupt, she's still going to show up wearing fur, or jewelry, or brooches, and it's, women just, will approach me on the street and just say, oh, two episodes ago, or who did that, who did that dress, who did that brooch that you were wearing? You know, they, they really pay very close attention. attention. So it's been nice to be something of a, you know, close horse for, for the public. The spin-off series stemming from the fantastic The Good Wife, now in second season, has introduced a whole new set of characters and timely political storylines. How much the story is inspired by real life events? Uh, completely. The, the, our show, I think more than any show on television, takes from exactly what's going on, the, the crucial issues we're dealing with in terms of the, it, living through, you know, the internet, sexual politics, sexual assault issues, police brutality, all, all the issues, plus living through the age of the Trump presidency. It, it, sets its characters in this moment in time, and it's really interesting. And it's challenging for the writers to just try and keep up with the news because the news is, uh, you know, it changes every 48 hours. It's so hard for us to keep up with what's going on under this president. But uh, this, this show has a, a wonderful take on what's going on and, and examines issues from a lot of different angles. It's not just a liberal mouthpiece, our show. It's got characters who, who are conservative, who are Republicans, who are defenders of Trump. You know, it's, it, in terms of its politics, it, it likes to mix it up. And um, it's, it's going to be an interesting season three because we're, we're taking it into, I, I think, more what it's like for people to live in personal relationships living in the Trump era, how it affects personal relationships and intimacy. How much of your real self you put into this character? Well, more and more because <laughs> <laughs> I, can I, see that. I am I am I am Diane's age, and I'm also an accomplished woman, and mm. and I share her politics. So as as the years have gone on, Diane and I have kind of intertwined more and more. We live in the golden era of television. How exciting is that for you as an actor? It's incredible, and it's incredible because I think it began just as I accepted the role of Diane, and I had done a lot of comedy in my, in my career. I'd done com certainly a lot of theater, lots of comedic roles in the theater, and nothing but comedy on television. And I said to my agents and managers, you know what would be really great? for me is if I could play a dramatic role, an intelligent, you know, head of a firm or a, a woman, you know, of authority. And then this role came along almost as soon as I wished it. And I got this role and it's just, it is, it's a role that any woman my age would want to play. 
what would you say to the female audience that admires you and they want to look like you, being attractive and powerful and <laughs> stunning? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's a, you know, it's a daily, it's a daily discipline, you know, to wake up and put yourself together and stay healthy and stay in shape. I would advise women not to be afraid of getting older. I would advise them to be healthy and, and positive in their outlook and to feel that they're not strictly defined by their age or their looks. There's so much more, so much more we have to give as women than just the, the, what people see. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, George.